Hey, what's up my broke budget guys, gals, and ninjas. Today we're gonna go mobile because I'm going to take you on a journey with me to the grocery store. If you haven't already seen, there is another video that I made that was on the five different tips to cut your grocery bill in half. And as requested on that video, I'm going to be making one where I'm actually shopping for my groceries and how I save money while I'm shopping. So stay tuned until the end and be sure to like this video, hit subscribe for more content and go and watch the other video if you haven't already because it was a pretty good video as well. So let's get started. So one of the questions I was asked in my previous video was if I stocked up on anything, including water. And I do stock up on water. I get these five gallon jugs. I've got five of them. And so then I also got these pumps. We have two of these actually because we have one in our kitchen and then one upstairs so that we don't have to come down in the middle of the night to get water and so all it is is just a little pump you have a button on the top that you press once to start it and then press again to stop it and it does charge it does have a charging port in the back and so we don't have to leave it plugged in if we don't want to otherwise we can plug it in this one is near a plug right back there so that way we can plug it in and keep it plugged in if we need to to make sure that it's fully charged to continue to pour water and then we just get these metal uh, water bottles which are super cute from Shutterfly and no this is not sponsored by Shutterfly but I just love them so much. If you're wondering where we got this pump we actually got it at Walmart I can't remember it was either $20 or $30 so it was super cheap for the value of it and then we don't have to flip the jugs upside down which is perfect. So these are my cabinets currently it may look pretty full but in all honesty that's like all chips and then we have some marshmallows in there and then the graham crackers which are almost out um and then we have some cashews and some peanut M&Ms and some cookies. And then we've got like hot chocolate mix in the back, which obviously none of this is like real food. These are just like snack foods and treats. We had a party and so we weren't expecting to have this much leftovers from the party. And so that's why we have so much of this. Normally our cabinets are pretty much empty by this time. So this tells me at least that I'm not gonna be shopping for any snacks this week. We are pretty much covered with peanut butter. We have three peanut butter bottles right now because this is a two pack and then this one. Um, that's because we went shopping at Sam's Club like a long time ago and that was even before we started budgeting for food. Um, I don't know if that would be a better price than going to Aldi's and getting peanut butter because we haven't needed peanut butter for a really long time. These bunny snacks, these were given to me like by my mom. Like these aren't even ones I bought personally. Um, some snack bars. I rarely eat snack bars. So these have probably sat here for a long time. Like, I mean, they're good, but like I rarely eat them. I don't know. I'm just not a snack bar person anymore. Used to be, don't like them anymore. And then of course we have oatmeal, which I eat oatmeal like all the time now. Um, it's my preferred breakfast over cereal cause I don't really like milk. And this is the last cabinet where we have stuff and obviously you can tell it's pretty empty. Normally we have macaroni and cheese and stuff and pasta on the top shelf um, here. And right now the only thing we have is um, gluten-free key lime cake, which I don't eat cake very often. So cake tends to just sit on our shelf for a really long time. Um, but we wanted to try this. We found this at Aldi's. And we were just like, well, that's unique, and we still haven't even made it. You know, our seasonings, and then we've, it looks like we've also got some pasta sauce, and it's just diced tomatoes, and some Kool-Aid. So this is like a lot of random stuff. Ooh, we have, that's sugar-free though. It's probably why we haven't made it yet, because I'm pretty sure that's been sitting there for a while. And then, yeah, we've got some different things and frosting which again I don't eat cake very often so that frosting's probably been sitting there for a while so this is the kind of thing that I want you guys to avoid when it comes to things just sitting there I mean and some of this was given to me so I got it for free but yeah trying to use it and it just doesn't happen very often then taking a look in the freezer we've got some uh, pork egg rolls, which because I'm gluten-free, this is obviously something I am not going to eat. And it's already like mostly gone. I think there's only a few left in there. And that's only for my husband because I can't eat that. And then we have gluten-free corn dogs. I just bought those at Corbones the other day. You can get them probably cheaper at Walmart and then Cub as a secondary option before Corbones. But I was really hungry and there was no more real food in the house that was gluten-free at the time. And that was a couple days ago and I knew I wanted to make this video and shop 
fully on Wednesday, but I needed something quick and I needed something close. And so that's why I got that. So I give you permission to do that, but try not to do that if you can avoid it. And then we have some ice cream bars, uh, three cheese bites, which I get sick off of those now, even though they're gluten free, which is really weird. So I can't eat those anymore either. So I kind of have to wait for my husband to just eat that kind of stuff. And then we also have some donuts up in here. Two breads that are from Udi's and then we have one from Live G Free. And then we have our bagels as well. And so our bagels, we have cream cheese with it. Um, and we are actually almost out of cream cheese. There's not even enough in there to do one half of the bagels. So I need to get more of that. So I know that. Um, as far as our, my bread's concerned, I use the Udi ones, so I'm good for the next couple weeks. Live G Free, that's the one my husband uses because he's a truck driver. He eats sandwiches more than anything else, so we do need to get him more bread because that will not survive a full week. We, you can see we had a veggie tray because we had a little party and there were some veggies left over. We have a little bit of pulled pork, about half of that container is left. And then we have one more yogurt, um, a couple blueberries, like probably maybe a fourth of it or third of it left. And then we've got one left of the French bread that's gluten free and then one English muffin left. We have a set of eggs and then we also have some pop, which we don't normally have pop, um, but these pops were ones that we got at Aldi's for pretty cheap, they're generic brand. And then we have a little cake back there, it was just a treat that we got. And then we have some gluten-free tortillas that I just bought recently because I didn't have any food left. And then here's the inside of our fridge door. We have a ton of condiments, as you can see. We have nothing in this one. We normally put our meat in this one, but we ran out of our meat last night. And then we have a bunch of water bottles in this one from the party we threw recently. Most of the time we don't have those water bottles because we would prefer to save on water by getting the big jugs. We have a little bit of shredded cheese left. We go through shredded cheese like crazy. We get this from Aldi's because it's a lot cheaper. Um, this one I bought recently at Corbone's just because we were running out of sliced cheese. And again, we go through sliced cheese a lot too. Um, I just really like cheese and then but this is the one I would suggest getting from all these and we'll go over that because we probably need a little bit more of that and then we have some turkey meat here we only go shopping a couple weeks at a time because we don't want stuff shoved in the back like that happens with these little things because um, we don't want to waste food and waste condiments or anything like that so we only get what we know we'll eat so we are on our way to Aldi's. It's about a half hour trip over there. And as soon as we're done there, it's only like a five minute trip to the next place. And so now you can see I'm getting the gluten-free mac and cheese. This is the best priced mac and cheese I've ever seen that is gluten-free. And so we tend to get a lot of it because I love kid food. But yeah, it was only $1.85 and it was on sale more than it normally is. Then we also got some more bread for my husband. Um, this is slightly more expensive than Walmart is, but he prefers that bread over Walmart anyways. Um, and then we looked at the different prices of getting cheese cubes versus cheese sticks, and it was actually like close to a dollar cheaper for the cubes. So my husband ended up wanting the cubes over the sticks just to save us a little bit more money. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, so yeah, that's what we did there. And then we looked at cream cheese, but they didn't have strawberry cream cheese and that's what I prefer. So we decided to get that at Walmart instead. And then we had to go back and forth with the turkey because we got the $2.99 turkey last time and it was the cheapest one there um, that was gluten-free. And this time we went, we actually found one that was $1.95 instead. So it was like much better. Even though it doesn't seem like that big a difference, it really adds up over time. So we got one of each because we just weren't sure how we'd like the other one. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of options. And then we got the cauliflower crust pizza. It's not my favorite, but it is $6.99 versus my favorite at Cub, which is $11. And then my husband, of course, got his sausage, which is cheaper at Aldi's than Cub. And then he also got his bacon. He picked the one that was the cheapest 
in the store. We used to get this stuff at Cub and it used to be like a dollar more expensive. And then we picked up some cheese. And so we actually found out after shopping for cheese that it actually ended up being slightly cheaper at Walmart than it was at Aldi's, which was a shame. Um, and then we got some yogurt. The yogurt is extremely cheap at Aldi's. So I recommend yogurt at Aldi's for sure. And then we found General Tao's chicken, which made me super excited because I've never seen that before. I saw it online in my gluten-free group and I was just hoping I'd find it somewhere and luckily we found it. And then I got myself some Hot Pockets and we got some um, sweet potato fries as well. So we just walked out of Aldi's and we paid $75 for basically two weeks, maybe even two and a half weeks worth of food. So we should be good for a while. There was a couple things we didn't get on our list, so we're gonna head over to Walmart now. Walmart was next on our list. It's right across the street from Aldi, so it was a sh super short trip. And my husband spends forever looking for the right meat because each meat is priced slightly differently. It's based on how much meat is actually there. Um, and it's also based on the date that it's going to expire. So we spent some time looking for the right one. We ended up going with the $8 one, even though the $6 one could have saved us more money. And then the same thing with our beef, um, just watch expiration dates for sure. And then when we were going for the cream cheese, we thought we found the only one that was strawberry there. And then we found another one that was a lot cheaper. So we looked at the mac and cheese at Walmart versus the dollar at Aldi. So it was much cheaper there. And then my husband, he watches out the water bottles before we fill them. Uh, we normally fill them up at like Cub Foods or Walmart. Um, Aldi's doesn't have a station to fill them up, otherwise we would have used Aldi's. And then it takes a really, really long time to fill them, so be prepared to wait a long time. All right, so we're here at Walmart, we are done. We got our water, um, but we paid $31.22 for everything that we got, which was the leftover stuff that we couldn't get at Aldi's because Aldi's didn't have it, um, or we just didn't care for their brand or their type. And so we saved as much money as we possibly could by getting the cheaper brands. So we just got back from shopping, and so I'm going to give you the final numbers. So we have a budget of $300 this month for the whole month. And so we basically divide that in half and we go shopping twice a month. We spent $152.60 total this month. And that's counting a trip to Corbones that I talked about, but I didn't show you because it was like an emergency run on Sunday. And I'm making this video on Wednesday. I knew I was going to be making this video, so I only did a couple things at there. But between that and the, the shopping trip we did today, we um, spent $152.60. And, and so that means we have $147.40 remaining in our budget, which is just close to half, which is exactly where I want it to be so that the next time we go shopping in a couple weeks, we have half of our grocery budget left. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for more content and hit like on this video and I'll see you in the next video.